Some other news to tell you about on this Tuesday, a national shortage of a commonly used medication causing concern among doctors and parents this flu season. News Trolls Jen Selig now with the worries about the availability of amoxicillin. This is something we haven't seen in a few years. I, you know, we've, the other drugs and other problems we've heard about, but amoxicillin is very available. It's not a, a hard uh, substance to make. Amoxicillin is one of the most commonly prescribed pediatric medications. The antibiotic is used to treat ear infections, bronchitis, and strep throat. Recently, it's been hard for physicians to prescribe it because there's a limited amount on the shelves. It doesn't seem like it's on the production side from what we've been told by the manufacturers. I think there's just a huge demand for it right now. This season alone, Dr. John Zazzo has seen a significant uptick in respiratory diseases. I think that's a mix because of masking for two years. Everybody's masks are off now and now we're getting all kinds of respiratory illnesses because their immune systems are not revved up yet. Dr. Zazzo says parents shouldn't worry. There are other alternatives. There are other concentrations of amoxicillin available, so it would just be up to the, the physician to kind of recalculate the dose with the different strength. And if that's being, if that's tight, then going with a different antibiotic. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration is working with local pharmaceutical companies to fix the shortage. Reporting, Jen Selig, News 12, Long Island. All right, and some advice. Parents can try to see if the uh, smaller independent pharmacies carry the antibiotic if the larger chains are all out.